Would you crawl for three days across two kilometers of the enemy's open field to kill their general? Then crawl back home or kill six people with a single bullet? These five sniper stories are crazier than any Hollywood blockbuster. Topless presents The Five Most Unbelievable Snipers Part 1 Number 5 Craig Harrison In November 2009, Craig Harrison of the UK's Household Calvary became a certified Guinness World Record holder by killing two Taliban insurgents from a distance of 2.47 kilometers or 1.54 miles. It took the 8.59 millimeter round almost three seconds to hit their targets, which were 914 meters or 3,000 feet away beyond the L-115A3 sniper rifle's recommended range. A second shot took out the insurgent's machine gun as well. Number 4 Matt Hughes During the first years of the Iraqi War, Royal Marines crack shot Corporal Matt Hughes was ordered to take out an Iraqi holding back a vital advance during a fierce gale. And the sharpshooter pulled off an incredible feat of marksmanship by perfectly gauging the wind speed to bend the bullet to its target. The 7.62 caliber round from Matt's L96 sniper rifle curved 57 feet in the air before slamming into its Iraqi's chest, killing him instantly. It was hot and the wind was blowing strongly from left to right as we crept up to the vantage point about 860 meters from the target, said Hughes. Along with his partner Sam, the pair calculated the bullet's trajectory by studying the movement of heat haze and dust. Sam told me I would have to fire exactly 17 meters to the left of the target for the bullet to bend in the wind and take him out. I made adjustments to my sight. With each click, my aim was offset by one meter for every thousand meters. Thankfully, the Iraqi stayed in the crosshairs of my sight the whole time and didn't move. Number 3 Killed 6 with 1 Bullet In December 2013, a unnamed British sniper in Afghanistan killed 6 insurgents with a single bullet after hitting the trigger switch of a suicide bomber whose device then exploded. The 20-year-old marksman's target was 930 yards or 850 meters away and it prevented a major attack by the Taliban. As a second suicide vest packed with 20 kilograms, 44 pounds of explosives was found nearby. Number 2 Chris Kyle U.S. Navy Chief Chris Kyle of SEAL Team 3 had 255 kills, 160 of which are officially confirmed by the Pentagon during four deployments to Iraq between 2003 and 2009. Kyle holds the title of the deadliest marksman in U.S. military history during the Second Battle of Fallujah alone when U.S. Marines fought running battles in the streets with several thousand insurgents. He killed 40 people. For his deadly track record as a marksman during his deployment to Ramadi, the insurgents named him Al Shamita Ramad, means the Devil of Ramadi, and put a $20,000 bounty on his head. His most legendary shot came outside Sadri City in 2008 when he shot an insurgent with a rocket launcher near an army convoy with his 338 Lapu Magnum rifle at 1920 meters. Kyle was killed in 2013 by a 25-year-old fellow veteran Marine, Eddie Ray Routh, whom Kyle was purposely taken to the gun range in an effort to help him with what they were told by his mother was post-traumatic stress disorder. Routh was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison without parole. The film American Sniper is based by his autobiography with Kyle portrayed by Bradley Cooper. Number 1 
Carlos Hathcock. Carlos Hathcock was a genuine Vietnam War hero and an undisputed legend in U.S. Marine Corps for his exploits in Southeast Asia. With a record of 93 confirmed kills but an estimated body count between 300 to 400 enemy soldiers, Hathcock terrorized the North Vietnamese Army. Because of these exploits, he was honored by having a rifle named after him, the Springfield Armory M25 Whitefeather, so called for the nickname the NVA men gave him because he always wore a white feather in his cap. Hathcock volunteered to crawl inch by inch across two kilometers for three days over an open field in control of the enemy. Hathcock said he was almost stepped on as he laid camouflaged with grass and vegetation in a meadow shortly after sunset. At one point, he was nearly bit by a bamboo viper, but had the presence of mind to avoid moving and therefore giving up his position. As the general exited his encampment, Hathcock fired a single shot that struck the man in the chest, killing him. He had to crawl back instead of run when the soldiers started searching for him. Hathcock was also credited with killing a Vietnamese sniper by shooting a bullet straight down the enemy's scope and through his eye. He later returned to the U.S. and helped establish the Marine Corps Scout Sniper School in Virginia. Due to the extreme injuries he suffered in Vietnam, he was in near constant pain, but dedicated his life to teaching snipers. If you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button and click this YouTube bell next to the subscribe button to get notification of most amazing videos from Top List.